Hello everyone and welcome again to yet another video. This week we are doing some popper and uh, this actually will come out uh, probably after uh, the August 29th. Uh, so I, if you haven't seen yet uh, the news, uh, I did make Twitch affiliate. Uh, so uh, yay, go for me, yay. Uh, so some changes will be coming down the pipeline, uh, such as the fact that you can see my face now. <laughs> Figured some things out in that regards. Uh, but anyways, uh, so this will probably come out after uh, my first inaugural stream uh, on August 29th. Uh, we will be streaming every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so if you uh, have any, uh, you know, want to come watch, uh, please feel free to come watch. Uh, we may not always be doing Legacy. Uh, we may do Vintage. We may do Popper. Uh, who knows? We might do something else. We'll see. Uh, you know, if we're prepping for something maybe we'll play whatever format we're prepping for uh just for fun uh but it will be uh fun and interesting uh i am working on uh the uh getting emotes done too uh so that that will be taken care of at some point uh but yeah so just a, a brief housekeeping update on that regards uh again this will come out probably after that because uh, uh, I'm going to work on uh, doing a little bit more editing to some of these things. Uh, we're going to cut sideboarding a little bit out of these uh, these videos, just kind of get to the meat of the games. Uh, but this week we are doing uh, some Popper. Uh, I really like Popper. Uh, I want to record so many videos with Popper. Uh, it's just such a fun format uh, and so very, very interesting. Uh, and of course, this week we've got uh, a really interesting deck. Uh, the deck that plays absolutely no creatures whatsoever. Uh, and that's wild to consider because so many popper decks, uh, popper in general is a very creature centric format. Uh, to have a deck that doesn't play any creatures uh, is very interesting. Uh, and of course this deck is uh, called Poison Storm. Uh, now Storm is a bit of a nomenclature because there's no storm card that gives poison. We don't have Rad Storm, that's a rare. Uh, you know, that's, uh, obviously, and also not on Magic Online, but, uh, we do have Weather the Storm, but really, the Poison Storm is because you get to, like, chain together all of these, uh, cards, like Contentious Plan, Experimental Augury, Steady Progress, Vivisurgence Insight, uh, and keep proliferating your opponent's poison counters. Uh, we are playing a whole bunch of Mercadian Masks Depletion Lands. Uh, those things like Hickory Woodlot, Peat Box, Sappers and Scary. Uh, those are cards that have depletion counters on them. And of course you can proliferate those counters. And when you tap it, you add uh, two mana of the color of the land. So for example, Sappers and Scary adds two blue. Uh, and of course if there's no depletion counters on it, you have to sacrifice it. And that's very important. But a lot of times you are able to uh, keep these things above two to plus two to three plus counters uh, at all times and you can make uh, a lot of mana with these especially when you're playing cards like snap to be able to untap those lands uh, pentad prism is another card that has charge counters everflowing chalice is another card that has charge counters that you can proliferate uh, and of course how do we get our opponent a poison counter to start with? Uh, so that card would be Infectious Inquiry, a two and a black sorcery. You draw two cards and you lose two life and each opponent gets a poison counter. Uh, and that's very important. Uh, you wanna get your opponent a poison counter and then you can start using those draw spells to kind of proliferate uh, the counter while also uh, drawing car more cards to keep going there. Uh, you, for example, if you cast Katecha's plan and you have um, you know, two Pentad Prisms and each of them has two counters. You can rip those two counters off of this that Pentad Prism, cast Contentious Plan, re-proliferate those counters, and then if you draw another Contentious Plan or an Experimental Augury, then you can do that again. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty interesting uh, style of deck. Of course, we are playing cards that have to make sure that we survive. So many of these lands in this deck come into play tapped. Uh, so all of your depletion lands, uh, that's 12 lands that you have in this deck that all come into play tapped. Uh, and that is a huge deal when you're dealing with decks like Burn or uh, Gruel or any of the aggro uh, piles. Uh, so how do we get around that? We play four main deck Weather the Storm uh, so that when we're done casting a bunch of spells 
in a turn, we can cast Weather the Storm and gain a bunch of life. Uh, so on the off chance that we don't get our opponent to 10 poison counters in a single turn, which happens, it happens quite often that we don't get our opponent to 10 poison counters in one turn. It's just very rare. You have to take it slow. Uh, so Weather the Storm ensures that we can possibly survive. Uh, we also get cards like uh, there's a main deck Breath Weapon uh, because uh, being able to wipe away the board uh, makes it pretty much pretty easy uh, to get rid of these uh, small creatures. Uh, we also get another one out of the sideboard so that we can uh, double up on that effect if we need it. Uh, we also get access to sideboard for main for sideboard uh, moments piece. Uh, so the uh, flashback, you prevent all combat damage from Bedelt this turn, and it flash, flashes back for a two and a green. Uh, so that's very important uh, to beat. Uh, we also get uh, things like Anoint with Infliction. Uh, it's an exile, uh, you know, effect. Uh, if you can get your opponent up to three poison counters, uh, then you can just exile any creature with this for two mana. Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, bring the ending, very similar thing. Uh, it is, uh, you know, you counter target spell until this opponent play, control plays two, uh, but if they have three or more poison counters, it's just countered for one and a blue. Uh, so, and it's not hard to get them up to at least three poison counters. Uh, so, this deck um, has been around for quite a while, and uh, I have definitely uh, seen and talked with uh, the person who sort of pretty much is the primary developer of the deck, uh, a... Uh, magic online uh, streamer and uh, video content creator uh, by the name of Calicase. I, I hope I'm saying that right, but uh, that's uh, that is their thing. I will make sure to link their YouTube uh, in the description of the video uh, so that uh, you can go check out uh, his videos. Uh, he has been one of the primary uh, developers of this deck uh, in making sure this deck uh, kind of is out there. Uh, it's super fringe, but it has had some really strong finishes here or there. Uh, it did do very well, uh, even in uh, Calicase's hands, uh, at the Magic Online Content Creator Showdown uh, earlier this year. Uh, the first one uh, that was um, Popper, uh, I believe that was in June, uh, I want to say. Uh, so that one, uh, that did very well uh, there. Uh, and it, it's a great deck. Uh, I've had a lot of fun uh, learning how to play it. Uh, it's definitely uh, one of those decks where you have to kind of readjust how you think about the matchup. Uh, you really have to think about playing the long game, uh, and you have to really just think about sometimes you just draw, pay, play a land, and pass, uh, just so that you can have uh, stuff to do in a future turn and hope to uh, you know not die uh, and try to do things to make it so you don't die. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's a lot of fun, uh, and we are going to definitely play a league with this, uh, and we'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, uh, check it out, and uh, we'll come back here for round one and be ready to go. So thanks. Okay, everybody, we are here for this uh, first match of Poison Storm. Uh, so this should be very interesting. Uh, I, I like this hand a lot. Uh, it's got a lot of the action we generally want to see. Uh, especially since uh, our opponent is playing, looks like Madness Burn. So that's going to be very interesting. I think we're going to lead on this Hickory Wood lot, uh, just so we can possibly cast this Weather of the Storm if we have to. Uh, but yeah, our opponent is definitely off to the races here. Uh, so that's that's a little scary. Kitchen Imp, Sneaky Snacker. Granted, the, the Sneaky Snacker comes into play uh, tapped, but there's two of them. Uh, so that's that's rough. Uh, yeah, we're going to take two from this, uh, this thing. Uh, what would be great here would be a... Um, whatchamacallit, a, a breath, the main deck breath weapon would be really nice. Vampire's Kiss. Yeah. Uh, that's rough. Uh, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Um, I want to. I want to cast Pentad Prism. I cast Experimental Augury. Uh, we will get Contentious Plan. Uh, we'll proliferate these folks here. And then we will cast Weather the Storm. Or really, we're just trying to delay. And next turn we get to cast a bunch more of these like experimental augury, uh, all that fun stuff. Highway robbery. Alms of the Vein, yet another sneaky snacker. We're gonna take three. We're gonna take go back down to ten. So really, that breath weapon would be really good right about now. Uh, okay, Snap is actually a pretty reasonable card here. Uh, so we get the Snap. That. I'll go there. We will do some proliferating. That's just a free spell. Uh, we will pull a counter off of there. And we will proliferate again. And we will cast this weather of the storm. And really, it's just we're just delaying the inevitable <laughs> until we can get like a real big turn. Then we got to get them a poison counter still. Like, that's what's rough here. We got to get them an actual poison counter. A highway robbery. Another sneaky snacker. Really, I think just having those two weather the storm like at least delays things enough to where we can maybe squeak out something somewhat of a win or maybe hit a um, a card that does something. Okay, so there's an infectious inquiry. So that is at least Okay, 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 okay. So we get to That's awkward. Uh, I had a blue. Uh, contentious plan. Some more. 
think we're just gonna cast this. Feels weird to do this, but I feel like it's like the easiest thing to do is cast it at zero so that we can then go cast weather the storm. This lets us cast um, Vivisurgeon's Insight next turn. Galvanic Blast, yeah. <laughs> they got to try and push through the damage. Uh, and fortunately, we get to, you know, draw a bunch of cards next turn. So hopefully those cards are cards that draw more cards. That's the key. We want to be able to draw more uh, more cards. Uh, okay, so it's Vivis Version's Insight. I mean, they might have like more than enough to try and get, to get us dead. Like that's the biggest thing. Not having a, uh, I think the biggest issue is if we draw a land or if we draw another like non non draw spell that's what gets us yeah go back down to 20 two four six eight It's a lot of damage. We just did 10 to us in a single turn. 11. Okay, this needs to be a draw spell, not a land. Okay, uh, that's... We can, we can think about this. Um, not it. Wow. Yeah. Just not getting there. That's it's insane. They just draw so many cards and just not even yeah, not even see it. Alright, so snap feels really bad here. So does Everflowing Chalice. Feels very slow. Uh, we definitely want Moments Peace. We definitely want um, the uh, Weather of the Storms and the Breath Weapons. So we need we need to be able to stem the bleeding and not die. Uh, basically, is what it boils down to with this kind of matchup. So we're waiting. Okay, so we are on the die roll. Uh, I like this. This is this is reasonable enough. Uh, it's got augury. It's got cards in it. Cards that draw cards. Jagged Barons. That is a thing that you can do. It 
tons of redundancy here. And not a card that gives them a poison counter. So uh, it's not like they're stealing something that uh, we really needed. Uh, it's all just redundant. I feel like Pentad Prisms probably pretty good to steal here, but yeah, that, that makes sense to me. Epicure. All right, so they had a really fast start in the first game. This game doesn't seem as starty start like. Okay. This is not as nearly as rough as the first game was. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to take that opportunity to do something about that. Contaminated ground is wild. Oh, uh, yeah. We will. That being a swamp, actually, is somewhat of an interesting concept because, yeah, we're going to take damage from it, but... Okay, yeah, sure. You get to take the breath weapon. drawn so many uh basic swamps or basic islands in this game this is wild oh you took the lorian reveal that's interesting this game is a lot slower than that first game uh whereas i feel like if i get any amount of cards that do things like it feels like it's probably pretty reasonable i mean i'm okay with spending yeah fiery temper Makes a lot of sense here. Really, I think we're just uh, worried about them overextending on uh, on cards. A oh, weather the storm would be really nice. what their their thought process here is we've got to we got to do something now to, to be able to win the game like i mean that's that's reasonable but Just bolt. Bolt, bolt, bolt. <laughs> Hard cast fiery temper. I mean, if they have another bolt, okay, sure. Like, we don't win that game. <laughs> if their hand is full of just that and we don't have weather the storm like that we just lose all right yeah that's a cool first start to play against madness burn uh we might record a video at that sometime uh over to round two
Okay, and we are back for round two. Uh, and yeah, we are on the play. Uh, this is, wow. <laughs> no. A little bit better. Uh, I think we can put back this snap. A little bit better. We could probably cycle this Lorien revealed to be able to cast this uh, Pentad Prism. Oh, look, it's the mirror. All right, then. So these weather of the storms do nothing in this game. Like, absolutely nothing. <sighs> I mean, sure. rough if they get stuck on lands like you want to make your land drops with this deck like absolutely i think it's exactly what you want to be doing with this deck you want to make your land drops making your land drops oh okay so they apparently were not making their land drops okay so snap way out of here breath weapon way out of here weather the storm way out of here uh i think we want bring the ending we want prologue to pharesis <laughs> what do we even keep in do we keep in weather the storm just so we have something to do because there's no other cards for this matchup like i feel like we have to and it feels like awkward because it's a dead card because they're probably they're not playing any creatures either let's be realistic Okay. All right. So I, I like this from a standpoint of it's got augury. It's got bring the ending. Oh, uh, we got to get them to a poison counter first. But being on the draw, I think with this get this deck is rough. Because I think you got to really pick and choose your your battles. Okay. There's a peat bog. Look, we're playing the same exact game. Everflowing chalice. That's rough. Okay. We might as well cast ex ex experimental augury. It's rough if they can get us a poison counter first. Yeah, contentious plan. But we could bring the ending, the poison, if they have it, because they don't have another. Okay, so I think we. Like, we have to, right? Like, we have to, we have to bring the ending it just so that we get them off of that off of a not having one also makes it so they don't draw as many cards
We, we need to draw more cards than they do. So it would be great to get to nab a uh, yeah, they get an island off of that lotus petal. So I think like here's the awkward part. We run into the same issue here with uh, with them. So I think we just pass because we need to have answers. Like they could have very ha reasonably had a, a bring the ending in hand. I want to. Yeah, you can have that. Because now we can pay for uh, an in for a bring the ending if they've got one. Okay. So here's the question. Do we pay for it? I think we might. Right, because we want to draw we want to draw more cards. And we want to cut them off of having those cards. This is like next level like here like this, this is a wildly nutty uh, uh, game because uh, this deck we're just two ships passing in the night we're just trying to stop each other from doing the thing that we're supposed to do steady progress is fine Bog. So they they just probably just don't have any way of interacting here at this point. Uh, okay. Uh, so I like the idea of having another pentad prism up. Great. The question is, what do I do with all these draw threes? I think I just sit on them until next turn. Like, I feel like I'm going to cycle this lore, one of these Lorraine reveals. I think that's the biggest thing. Just so that, I mean, we we'll just control that the warrior revealed. Okay.
they are just pass and turn at this point. Okay. Like, they, they are probably just drawing a whole lot of nothing. Uh, okay, yeah, they were more than happy to concede that. I think uh, really what happened there is they probably got stuck on uh, cards, and that can happen quite a bit with this deck, and I think that bring the ending. Uh, spending that mana on the bring to ending, and then spending the mana to pay for the bring to ending uh, really made the most sense uh, in those games. I think those were the very critical points uh, that uh, we got us there, so... Uh, cool. Uh, round uh, three coming soon. Okay, so welcome back for round three of Poison Storm. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, we could cast a... Yeah, give it a shot. It's got depletion lands and cards we want to see, like... Okay, so yeah. This prize weapon might not be too bad here. Madness burn. Gotta love it. Definitely what we're playing against. Uh, so this could be a rough game or this could be pretty bad. Oh, no burn. Burn burn. Uh Yeah. So. I like this lotus petal. We just gotta rip it off now. And hope that that like slows them down a bunch. Seems like it might have. Interesting. Implemented combustion and no second land to follow this up is a great place to be for this deck. Um. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to see, but he does give us, like, a full grip of stuff to do next turn. The having second land is kind of stinks. Yeah, that's fine. Goblin Blast Runner. Okay. So, now that we have some things we can do. So untap those. Steady progress. I like casting this. Cause then we can give them a poison counter. And then we can play a land. The next turn we get to do a little bit more things. It would have been nice to have a weather the storm there, but I feel like I'm okay with this. We reset them back some damage. So. You know, Kaldolfa Rebirth is rough. Yep, taking one point of damage. Got the last runner. 
Okay, so let's... Let's think about this. I like Vivisurgeons. Gives us some things to do. Oh, I didn't proliferate the poison counter. Wow, I'm a terrible person. One poison counter missed. That's gonna happen. Make sure we select them, proliferate the poison counter. Play a land for turn. We will cast this with multi kicker four. We'll cast this with multi kicker one. And then we will weather the storm. Alright, 30 life should be pretty good. And then we get to uh, cast another Vivisurgeons and probably Deep Analysis. Yeah, Bushwhacker is fine. We are... taking some damage. Back down to 18. Alright. So we will... Cast Vivisurgeon's Insight. We will cast Contentious Plan. Really, I think if we hit another weather the storm, I think we're good. Uh, we will cast steady progress. Uh, we will cast deep analysis. I mean, I think we also cast this Lorien Revealed. There is a contentious plan. Uh, proliferate all these things. There is a steady progress. I don't like the fact that I have to but ah here we go we get to win ah ha 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 yeah yeah that's how you do it just 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 kill them in a single turn <laughs> All right, the moment's peace. Uh, I don't like snap. Seems real bad. Uh, chalice seems real bad. Um, deep analysis seems real bad. But yeah, hey, that's how it works. Okay, so we are on the uh, draw. I like this a lot because uh, it gives us the ability to have Weather the Storm and Moments Peace and possibly a uh, Breath Weapon. So, uh, yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, that's that's scary. Although not as scary if it's just two two damage. No follow up play is is nice. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Bolting on end step seems correct. Synthesizer. How do we get off a of synthesizer? Another land. Lands are good off a of synthesizer if you can play them. Another synthesizer. Bolt seems pretty good. I feel like I just want to weather the storm. Seems like a good thing to be doing. And then we can take like two damage and be able to proliferate next turn because that's the biggest issue here is I don't really want to get rid of this um, yeah that seems fine taking five I'm okay with taking five We have really pushed them down. Uh, uh, yeah, that seems like a really good card. something with okay so I'm easily okay with I'm also easily okay with taking three here uh, simply because we could just wipe the board piece of response. Now we have that moment's piece up. I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's basically what we get to do here. We just get to play the Moments Peace game. Oh, yeah, this is totally fine. We're just going to Moments Peace on. Moments peace. I would like to be able to cast this uh, this breath weapon would be great right about now. Mm -hmm. 
But I very much think we're just casting this this moment's piece out of the graveyard. Again. Like the second one. Yeah, experimental synthesizer. They get a 2-2. Two, two. I mean, it seems silly. It's kind of a okay. We can we can do that. That seems reasonable. Breath weapon, then. It's real awkward, though, because we have two ever, these ever flowing chalices. Yeah, they get another 2 2. What do they get off of that? Another experimental synthesizer. That's That's fine. runner which I think you have to cast yeah that's it's awkward to have to do this but I think it's probably the only way we win like really cruddy we need to draw like some real action here to win this game like we need multiple proliferate spells into multiple proliferate spells like we could take five Yeah, I think just going to combat makes most sense. Make another 2 2. Galblast is fine. I, I mean, I don't know what it does. Like, it doesn't do anything. I think we hold on to it for a turn where we could cast cards. I don't know. Two, four, six. Make another one. Called Doth or Rebirth. We have to use this moment's piece.
They have to cast this cold off or rebirth, right? Yeah. That's a lot of damage. Hmm. I mean, that is a thing we can do. <laughs> wow. Just keep, yeah, that's fine. Just keep wiping the board. Discarded a mountain. We need anything. Anything. That's that's not anything. We'll just cast it. Because if they have a smash to smithereens, it's whatever. How many smash to smithereens do they have in their deck? Like. Okay. We are getting somewhere here. Draw spell. <laughs> Experimental augury. Something that does anything in this game. Please. Something. Not it. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh boy. It called all the rebirth. Okay, that's that's a card. Still not it. Um Yeah, we'll go up to two. And then we'll do one. We'll cast another weather of the star. <laughs> Go back up to 20. <laughs> oh boy. We need literally anything. Literally any draw spell would be great here. It's even better if that draw spell is something like Lorien Revealed or Vivisurgeon's Insight. Like, something. Okay, I'll take a contentious plan. Like... That is not a, a card. Got us closer, though. Bushwhacker stinks. We have no way of, of stopping this. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. That's rough. We've cast three weather to the storms this game. Vivisurgeon's in sight. Hey! Okay. We can get somewhere with this. Not exactly what I want to see, but still not what I want to see. Okay. Like, if they have double bolt, like, we, we lose, but...
or like flaring pain. Like flaring pain would be really bad. I don't really want to cast this other infectious inquiry. Like it kind of stinks. Like we are riding that line of being so close to dead they bolt us in response to casting that or they have what do they have in hand like that's what i want to know what do they have in hand they have a gal blast okay you just seriously is that <laughs> what a slow roll <laughs> like what if i had a weather storm i would have cast it already like wow okay 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 scary yeah epicure is fine peabog is fine we just gotta have like eh, you know things green mana that's what we need green mana this has been a real game, though. I, I love it. Oh, okay. Play land after turn. Very interesting. Hmm. Maybe I should have pulled out these uh, Everflowing Chalices. That might have been a thing. What is my opponent doing here? Okay. Yeah, we're taking one point of damage. Okay, I was like, yeah, I had to have a second land, right? Double Implement of Combustion. I mean... This seems like a... thing we can do again i was worried last game because there was there were there was not as okay bolt attack You have to cast this bolt, right? Like that's that's accurate, yeah. So really, I want the small ones here. I don't really want this vivisurgeons. I want the small, uh, like contentious plan, experimental augury, and that sort of thing, because then I can build up storm count. I'd be able to cast uh, a weather of the storm. I mean, another lotus petal would be nice here. I'm just trying to figure out what my opponent is doing. This has been the longest game of burn. I think I've against burn. I think I've ever played. <laughs> It is a rough matchup, though. Like, you have to have, like, everything line up. Oh, they're just going to gal blast me. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... 
Yeah, we'll have a bit of a surgeons. We'll cast that. Problem is, is I would like to cast this on their turn. I do have a moment's peace. We could just easily die on their turn, though. That would have been like 369. That might have been enough. Chip damage. Okay, implemented combustion. I think the thing is, is like if they have two bolts here, or a gal blast and a bolt, I just get to weather the storm in response. So. Because I have another one in hand. Sure. There it is. This is how we we do it. <laughs> okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So now we get to contentious plan. Next turn. Do some things. Yeah, you get a, a samurai. Okay. So we contentious plan that we contentious plan that uh, do, do, do. steady progress. I don't feel like I'm in any imminent threat of danger at 24. Especially that they're having to draw cards with... an implement of combustion, like... This feels like a really locked game if I can draw the right combination of cards. Like, if my next turn is augury, 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 like, you know, just... 
I have three more auguries in the deck. Yeah. I am okay with this. Because like I said, we could we're take we'll take three here. I probably should have played the Hickory Wood last turn, but I feel like we may just win the game here. Okay, so. Tap all this mana that we've got. Augury. Yeah. We just win the game. We don't even need to, to worry about. All we gotta do is just make sure that we proliferate the correct cards. Hey, look at that. We managed to beat Burn. So, hey, all right, cool. Pretty clean. Uh, just kind of held on as long as we could. Played the double uh, Weather the Storm, because uh, that was big. And uh, we'll be off to round four uh, here soon. Hello, everyone, and welcome back for a, this uh, round four of Poison Storm. Uh, some weird things happen uh, with this particular match, uh, simply because uh, when I originally recorded this, um, my microphone was off for pretty much the entirety of the match. Uh, so I'm dubbing over this uh, to kind of go over this this particular uh, match. So uh, we started off with what looked like a pretty reasonable hand, honestly, on the play. Uh, just having, uh, you know, the cards we want to see, you know, Depletion Lands, uh, Pentad Prism, uh, Steady Progress, Infectious Inquiry, those kind of cards. Uh, of course, our opponent goes a turn one Delver of Secrets <laughs> off of an island. Uh, and the only deck that's currently playing Delver of Secrets in the format right now is Mono Blue Terror. Uh, and Mono Blue Terror is kind of an atrocious matchup uh, for this deck. Uh, they play uh, tons of counter magic and they play tons of bounce spells uh, from Boomerang to Spell Pierce to you name it. Uh, and not only that, they get to play Delver of Secrets. Uh, and the Poison Storm deck is kind of a slow deck. Uh, obviously, as we've kind of seen in this particular uh, league, it's fairly slow enough to the point where if you you can't like turbo out, you kind of have to play the long game. And what makes that rough is the fact that they play a lot of stuff that stops you. Uh, their entire deck stops you. And Delver of Secrets is a one heck of a clock against a deck that kind of has to play to the board and play a little slowly. Uh, so you're obviously you're playing all these bounce lands and these depletion lands and all that fun stuff. It's rough to be able to be like, all right, well, uh, I'm gonna, you know, play this, you know, one mana three two flyer uh, that attacks and reduces your life total faster than you can get on board and do stuff. Uh, and it's not only just Delver. Uh, obviously, they're playing things like Cryptic Serpent and they're playing things like Talarian Terror and cards like that. And they're able to play these cards for rather cheap, uh, you know, sometimes one mana, uh, one to two mana tops. And that frees up the rest of their mana to be able to get rid of stuff like, you know, your, your spells you want to cast. Uh, so uh, it makes it really rough. Uh, this deck does have uh, a lot of issues against this kind of deck. Uh, especially like in this position, it says running out of experimental augury and our opponent just deciding, well, okay, um, just counterspell it. Uh, or, um, you know, a, a boomerang would have been really awful here, too. Uh, that would have been really bad. Like, boomerang on Sappers and Scary would have been really awful. But having this counterspell uh, hit uh, really rough, uh, it's not really what I wanted to be doing here. Um and honestly, I think this steady progress was a bad play. <laughs> I think we should have just let it go, or we should have just uh, tried to kind of do the thing. <sighs> I waffled on whether or not I wanted to cast Weather the Storm, uh, which feel, felt really awful. I think I was really worried about them flipping the second Delver, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, flipping the second Delver would have been really, really awful. Uh, for me, that would have really accelerated the game. Uh, I mean, 
We only took four there, and we're at seven. Uh, you know, that part is, is rough. Um, yeah, having uh, Augury would have been good. Um, I think they had something for this. No, they didn't. No, they didn't have anything for the Augury. And I really, one of the big things about this deck that I found while I was playing it is getting, having to, uh, um, remember to proliferate your poison counters. Uh, that's, that's a huge thing, uh, cause it's not right in your face. Uh, so you do have to remember that. Uh, but like, I feel like if that Delver had flipped, I would have taken two more points of damage there. I would have been at five. That weather of the storm wouldn't have been as good uh, overall. Uh, so that would have put me to that was like what a four. Yeah, like that would have been rough. But this cryptic serpent is incredibly rough, uh, and I feel like it just we just lose the game uh, if they have any amount of gameplay that destroys what we're doing. Uh, and of course, at one mana, they have quite a bit. They have spell pierce. They have you know four spike. Like in this case, I can only make five mana here. So two from the Hickory Woodlot, one from the Snow Covered Island. I could make uh, two more from the Pentad Prism, but that defeats the idea of proliferating. And so that that makes it rough. Uh, I I think we tried for deep analysis just to kind of draw some cards. Uh, and spell pierce, super rough there. Um, not really where I wanted to be. Um, and having to pay for that really rough as well. And honestly, like I think we just set ourselves up. Uh, they were able to, on this following turn, uh, flip that Delver, uh, and flipping that Delver is exactly lethal. Uh, 3, 6, 12, so. Uh, post sideboard, uh, it's rough, because, like, yeah, you, you don't want to have stuff like Snap. Um, most of their creatures have Ward. It's actually generally hard to pay for, um, which is, is rough. Um, I wanted to have some number of moments piece uh, to be able to kind of prevent them from combat damage. Uh, but again, they play a lot of counter spells, so uh, that's that's kind of rough. But so uh, game two, um, honestly, this looked great for a opening hand. Honestly, like it's got augury it's got you know steady progress it's got a depletion land it's got weather the storm it's got a pedal uh having a lotus pedal seemed you know always pretty good against these decks yeah they can post board bring in stuff like a null and stuff like that which is rough but on the play a lotus pedal is is a thing that's that's pretty good and and yeah second lotus pedal like cool like we can maybe do the thing, like, you know, we get to Augury and, like, find something, uh, maybe, like, honestly, in this case, it was third Lotus Petal, like, and then I think we just kind of sat on it, like, I think it was the idea, it's like, okay, just sit on this, maybe next turn we have the mana to, you know, do some stuff, uh, through, like, counter, you know, not counter spell, but, like, you know, they had spell pierce or something like that. Uh, Delver, uh, not as backbreaking as on turn one, uh, but definitely backbreaking for sure. Uh, so this infectious inquiry, uh, did get to go. Uh, uh, go off here uh, and we 
we did get to cycle the Lorien revealed for a land. And then I think we just kind of sat because like we have a contentious plan. Okay, we've got a steady progress. Uh, there's there's options here to do things. We have a weather the storm. Like it felt like a, it feels like a good fight. And really, with this deck, you gotta like pick and choose your your moments with this deck. Uh, this kind of deck, you have to figure out. Okay, well, my opponent has you know this resources available. They possibly have a counter spell. How do I you know break into that? Do I attempt to you know force my opponent to cast it on a spell that I don't want them to cast it on? That I want them to cast it on because I'm okay with it getting countered. And then I force through the thing I wanted to actually cast. Uh, does it let me cast a bigger Weather the Storm if they counterspell something and then I follow up with Weather the Storm? Uh, those sorts of things uh, are important to think about in these control matchups. Because uh, that's basically what Mono Blue Terror is. It's kind of like a tempo control deck. Uh, and you want to think about those things when you're uh, playing this kind of deck where you want to just want to force through uh, specific things. So I think we thought, okay, well, here, contentious plan. Um. Spell Pierce sucks. And I don't think I should have paid for it. I think I should just let it go. Uh, because it, even though I get to proliferate, I get to draw a card. And I do get, like, a, a chalice into play. I think it was rougher losing those Lotus Petals than it was losing the um the other thing because demon inferior wildly crazy card from uh, modern horizons 3 for this deck uh so they get to like they got to ponder and they got to cast demon inferior for three mana and they got to hit my the ever flowing chalice which really super rough uh given that what i had to do last turn so i think um you know, I think that was probably the wrong wrong thing to do. And also, just Spell Pierce here. That hurt, too. So, yeah. Uh, the, they have a Delver. They have a Flip Delver now. Uh, it's That's that's absolutely rough. Uh, I'm constrained on mana uh, at this point because I have one depletion land with a depletion counter on it uh, and not being able to have more than one depletion counter stinks. Now, granted, hey, we did get a uh, depletion counter on this. It, <laughs> they are so far ahead at this point in this game uh, that they get to do whatever they want here. Uh, and that's very hard because they have you know, six lands in play, four of which are untapped, and now we've got a Telerian Terror. And we're taking three. And the thing about this is, is that that those Lotus Puddles would have been helpful to cast Weather the Storm. And that is that is the rough part of this. Is having Weather the Storm would have made this a little bit more cleaner. Uh, and I think that was mainly what it boils down to, is I, you cast the, um, the weather, the storm, if I, if I had kept those petals around, the weather storm would have been really good. So, uh, that ended that match, uh, and so, uh, we'll see you all here for match five shortly, uh, that will return to a version of me from the past, uh, so enjoy, uh, past me, uh, and, and finishing out this league. Okay, so we are here for final round, round five of Poison Storm. Uh, this looks like a pretty keepable hand. It's got these, uh, the proliferate lands in it, the, the depletion lands, and it's got a bunch of uh, other lands in it. So we can very conceivably find something to do with this experimental augury. Oh yeah, and we've got a bunch of of things we can do with with that so I feel confident against affinity in this regards so that that's what we're playing against 
Uh, so yeah, last round, uh, for fourth round, uh, I'm gonna just have to be like, I record over it, uh, cause, um, yeah, I did not have my mic on the entire time, so that's cool. So if that one sounds really weird, uh, that's why. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to, like, find some way to mask the video on that one, uh, just so that I can have that footage, uh, there. Uh, so, okay, so, uh, Madness Burn. Uh, we'll probably take that. Alright. We just have to hope to hit a weather the storm at some point. Sneaky Snackers coming back to play. Or that main deck breath weapon would be also very nice. Vivid Surgeon's Insight. Okay, so I guess I've got to... I guess I gotta survive this turn. Is really what it boils down to. Like, if I could survive this turn and maybe draw a weather of the storm, I think that would be very nice. Yeah, we're taking six. I'm good at eight. Ugh, go to seven. I mean, Galflast is a card, but I can, we can try and get out of this. So, we'll use that. Something here. Snap is pretty reasonable here for a lot of reasons. Uh, it lets us untap some lands here. So we can snap their sneaky snacker. That's awkward as heck. So much mana and not a single, not hitting a single weather the storm. Uh, and if we cast this, yeah, okay. Uh, we need all the moments pieces. We want to get rid of the ever flowing chalices. We'll go down on a snap moments piece. We might re record this league. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Get tired of doing getting these like two threes and stuff, and running into like the just the weirdest matchups 
ever. Okay. Okay, that's that's reasonable. Uh, we will want to draw a card. So, really, we just got to stay alive. Like, that's the awkward part against this deck. Like, they can get on board pretty quickly. Vampire's Kiss is fine, actually. Uh, so, let's see. I make four mana. I cast a Pentad Prism. I use some of that to... Cast Infectious Inquiry. Play a Peat Bog for turn. I have a Snap, at least if I need it, which is nice. Uh, it hits one of their creatures. Yeah, see, it's going to hit this Kitchen Imp when... If that's the only thing they've got as a Kitchen Imp, then I'm perfectly okay with that. Yeah, Jagged Barons, I'm also okay with that. So we will... Get to steady progress. Surgeon's Insight. Cast this. We'll use it for a pretty big weather of the storm. Going back to 28 seems great against this deck, quite honestly. Yeah, especially since they just make two, two twos. Being at 28 seems like a really strong thing here. A solid uh, breath weapon would be very good. All right, so let's we will. Proliferate around the board. Uh, I really just want to draw a bunch of cards here. I'm okay with blowing that to a another weather of the storm. Just give us uh, time. That's all we're looking for is time. And just keeping out of their range really is what it boils down to. Yeah, fire temper's fine. Uh, 
going to take in four. Hey, there's like so many of these, like, drawn like DeLorean revealed. That cast a bit of a surgeon's insight. We have so much mana now, like it's just not even funny. And we can take a hit of five and maybe a little bit more burn on top just to get to a point where we could moment's peace on the back end. Like they only need four more poison counters. I think we can get there. Yeah, highway robbery is fine. Sneaky snacker, snacking all those people. So we take five. They maybe pitch a spell, a burn spell or something like that on the back end. I don't know, just straight play land, maybe sack blood token. Just gal blast me. <laughs> Feel like yeah, just, just double gal blast. Like seems accurate. Okay. So much mana here. We're gonna cast a bunch of spells. Okay. Uh, we are not quite having them dead. But we are pretty close. We'll pitch this. So we have the moment's peace to be able to like pick up a uh, a combat. More decks need to play Flaring Pain, is what I'm learning. Like, that's the card that I think people really need to play more than anything. Yeah, okay. So I gotta get them to two, okay, two poison counters seems very reasonable here. Rating. Cast this Lorian revealed. Uh, yeah, Snap seems like a really good card here. Cast another Lorian revealed, and we get experimental augury. Doesn't matter what we pick, uh, they are dead. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Now we're on the draw though. Uh, so being on the draw is worse, way, way worse than being on the play at this point. 
So, yeah, as I explained in my, um, <laughs> as I will have explained in, I guess, actually, I will be blurring the camera out, I suppose. Um, but, uh, or I just leave it on and just make fun of myself. That might be, might be the fun thing to do uh, in the actual video for this. But I, um, yeah, I recorded this over the course of two days. So, uh, that's why my t-shirt changed, uh, I had to change shirts. Uh, okay. This seems perfect. It's woodlot, sappers, and scary, like augury uh, moment's peace I think we play this first Epicure So I think on my turn, I get to tap Sappers and Scary. Um, yeah, that's totally fine. Uh, cast Experimental Augury. Uh, so I get to um, actually do Cycle, Lorian Revealed. Yeah, so we cycle that, get an island, do this thing. Pentad Prism is excellent here. So we can spend a moment's piece if we have to, but I think taking three is fine. Vampire's Kiss is a thing. Okay. So we get a Pentad Prism. Actually, get two Pentad Prisms. So this breath weapon is live, so is this moment's piece. I think we breath weapon them. Just don't even leave it to chance. Actually, you know what? Actually, they just think we moment's piece. I think we lure them into the false sense of security that they can commit more to the board. Ugh. Fire temper. We need to gain some life. That's the key right here. We need a weather the star. Ooh, no, I don't want to do that. want to die to a let's see here there's three there five there oh yeah see we're just trying not to die really is what this boils down to. So we get to put some charge counters across the board here. Uh, and really we're just, yeah, we're just trying not to die. Being at 22, I can feel pretty happy with that. Especially with only two creatures on board, they need to get some more creatures in play to... 
be able to actually do anything. Yeah, I'm okay with taking three here. I want them to commit some more creatures to the board. Because if they, yeah, if they sneaky snack her here, then I can breath weapon and mop up whatever they're doing. Okay, just fiery temper. We still haven't even given them a poison counter. That's what's rough. Uh, let's draw some cards. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter that they... Okay, okay, okay. I see what we can do here. We got we got some action going. We get the moment we have a moment's piece up and we have a the breath weapon. I think we Moments Peace. They have a flaring pain cast in the fire. Just blow it here, just because you guys are you're still in. Okay. Well, so we get to like definitely draw some cards here, but those cards also cost us life. was not fantastic. Ah, yeah. So we need to live a turn is really what this falls down to. We need to not die this turn. If we don't die this turn, then we might be able to be, we might be okay. Ugh. Yeah, we definitely need to clean up and cast some spells. Okay. Do that. Because we're under a storm. Let's go back up to 19. Then we gotta survive another turn from 19, which 
I wouldn't put it past them to be able to try and kill me at that, uh, like, quite literally. Like, they definitely have uh, a bunch of, like, three damage spells, Bolt and Galvanic Blast, and well, Galvanic Blast is four, so... But whether or not they can convert that is the real question. Okay. Okay. I feel pretty happy about this then. Uh, yeah, especially since there's another weather of the storm. I feel super happy about that. Uh, all right, we will start off by drawing some cards. Continue to draw some cards. Okay, contentious. That's awkward. I think we just kill them next turn. Oops, no, 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 not the right spell. Like, it doesn't really matter. Like, they're at seven poison. Uh, we can just pitch these. extra depletion lands. Like we're at 24 life. I don't think they can kill us. And we have a contentious plan and an experimental augury. Uh, we have cast three weather the storms this game. <laughs> it gets insane. <laughs> They have so many ways to draw cards, really, at this point. Looting. So much card draw. We have 14 cards uh, left in our library. I don't think they're going to be able to convert. I think we got them. Uh, like, they have to spend mana for all of their spells, and all of our spells cost functionally nothing with the proliferate, so... Okay, you had demand answers, yeah. I just, I don't think they win. Yeah, bolt, bolt me. <laughs> oh yeah, we're just. The only way we lose here is if we forget to uh, you know, put a poison counter on them, but that's not going to happen. Yeah. Just holding back and letting them go. We, hey, we pulled a three, two out of that. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, man, this deck is so much fun. I'm not going to lie. It's so cool to be like, click, 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 proliferate, click, 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 proliferate. Like, it's so cool to do all that stuff. And it's a really interesting deck. Uh, so yeah, uh, th again, this will probably come out after my first stream next week, uh, simply because, uh, I need to out edit and add, uh, some audio over round four. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, so that's nuts. Uh, yeah, I cannot believe I was um, uh, on the 
Uh, <laughs> I cannot believe I forgot to turn my mic on for most of that match. Uh, and it was a quick match too, but man, it was just awful that I forgot to do it. So, uh, but we'll we'll fix it in post for sure. It'll be just be fixing editing. Uh, oh, the magic of editing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, weird thing, but hey, uh, again, a 3-2. Uh, I love this league. Uh, I like this uh, deck. I want to play this deck some more. Uh, it's super fun. Uh, shout out to Kalakais uh, for, uh, A, uh, being one of the primary developers of this deck and providing a lot of tech uh, for it, but also just, uh, yeah, being uh, interesting, willing to talk to about, uh, like, all these, like, things about this deck and how best to, like, approach playing this deck. Uh, you can definitely tell, like, there's a lot of, like, little things that you will pick up on, uh, and it's a lot of, like, stuff like, okay, well, how, when do I hold back? When do I go for it? Like, when do I do this? When do I do that? Uh, when do I just sit back and play lands versus, you know, trying to, like, draw cards? There's a lot to it, for sure. And you gotta really adjust your expectations of how you play the game, uh, in terms of, like, willing to slow yourself down and play a little slower. Uh, I like that aspect of it because it's something I struggle with a lot is uh, trying to like play super quick to the board uh, and I'm not used to that like playing trying to slow myself down to play so uh, playing a deck that forces you to do that very nice uh, very 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 pleasant uh, but anyways uh, so thank you everybody for watching uh, again uh, check out uh, my link tree that includes the links to my twitch and my youtube uh, and of course uh, as I announced already, too, I will be streaming to both Twitch and YouTube, uh, so that'll be really cool uh, to see how that pans out. Uh, and I also want to thank uh, the Magic Online Content Creator Program for giving me the opportunity to do this sort of stuff. Uh, they are awesome. Go check them out. Uh, and uh, if you are a content creator wanting to apply for that, please go check and look at it. It's super awesome. Uh, we get to play in all these really cool events. Uh, we get to play with, uh, you know, all access accounts uh, and all sorts of cool stuff. So uh, anyways, thanks everybody, have a great time, and we'll see you next time.